Yo, 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 everyone, this is Hydro Power Games here, and today I'm going to show you a little bit of a tutorial on how you can create your own custom terrain in Minecraft for whatever you may please or want to do, such as adventure maps or custom maps, CTM maps, any kind of maps you want to create, maybe even server spawns, uh, server biomes, custom biomes, anything you want, it, you can do it. Uh, now I'm going to tell you a little bit of brief introduction into terrain creation. Uh, remember that terrain creation or terrain in an, any kind of Minecraft map is the bare bones uh, background of everything, and that was Gmail. <laughs> uh, um, I w I was just about to say something very insightful, and then Gmail comes right in to interrupt me. Anyway, so you want to have the terrain kind of match the theme of what you're going to do, and I'm going to mute uh, Gmail for a second. Yeah, I get muted in the face. Uh, so yeah, let's just get started here, shall we? Uh, first, you want to create any empty super uh, void world. Those are going to be the best for this. Now, I'm going to hop into MC Edit. You are going to need a few filters if you want it. Uh, if you want to do some special things with it, you can use with any kind of filter you want. Uh, you are going to need MC Edit or World Edit. Uh, I would recommend MC Edit because it's just much easier using MC Edit than it is to use World Edit. Um, so yeah, let's 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 get right into it, shall we? So here I am in MC Edit, and this is what it looks like. It's gonna look a little bit different because I don't have it scaled uh, the correct size because I need it to be the same size as my Minecraft screen. Uh, just just for video reasons, uh, there's gonna be a few more things up here. Uh, basic basic basic. Uh, MC Edit screen right here. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to make two different types of terrains. I'm going to make you uh, a cave, which is what I'm going to start with, and then later I'm going to do like an actual uh, mountainous terrain that you might want to use. Now first, uh, you want to make some sort of a canvas. So you're going to want to select a huge area like so. I'm not going to make it too big for now. Uh, I think that's good. Uh, because it's just for demonstration purposes. This is actually quite small, even though it says 255 by 257 uh, by 1. What? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, that's just... Wait, how do I make it lower? Oh, whoops. There. Okay. Uh, so that's that's all in place now. What you're going to want to do is going to go to fill and replace, and there's stone. Stone's the default. You're going to... E most people use stone in caves because, like, that's like what you usually find in caves. Um, but if you want, you can use any other sort of. Uh, oh, I can't press it. Okay, yeah, there we go. Uh, you can use any other sort of material to kind of match the theme that you're going. With. I'm gonna go for the basic bare bones of a custom cave here, and it's gonna take a while, depending on how slow or fast your computer is. It's gonna take different speeds to render everything in correctly. So now that you have it rendered in. Uh, you can kind of start, uh, uh, man, it's not responding. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, be right back. Okay, we're back. I'm sorry about those technical difficulties, but here we have a big block of stone. Uh, I, I don't think the video recorder and MC Edit are, are working properly together, but that's cool, that's cool. It doesn't really matter. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to just... Let me just move the spawn in the player position data. Just just so I can like not spawn inside of stone later in the in the future. Anyway, so you're gonna wanna go to your brush panels. Uh oh man, this is really weird. I, w I wanna expand the screen, but that's gonna jack up the video. Uh you wanna go to your brush panels and to carve out any type of uh any type of like Ooh, oh, I figured out what, what's going on. Uh, it's still selected. Ah, frick. There we go. Deselect. Now, I'm going to go to the brush panel now. And you want to be creative here. Uh, I'm going to length 10, width 10, height 5. There we go. That seems like a good dome. And start, like, zoom all the way in by zooming like this. And it just makes some crazy thing if you want. Uh, to make the very basic shape of what you want, and it's gonna it's gonna take a few mid seconds to render. Uh, there, I got a little swirly do right here. Uh, that's gonna be the path. If you want, you can go ahead and uh, adjust 
based on what you eyeball uh, in the cave itself because it's not going to be perfect first run through it's going to be far from perfect first run through uh, just go ahead and click a few times inside the cave make it a little bit wider uh, you're going to notice you're going to start seeing these circle things up here in the ground don't worry that's going to be fixed later uh, it looks really bad so yeah it's going to be fixed later don't worry Get some spots here and there. Uh, that's looking pretty small. I want to increase the roof size a bit. There, that might be a little, little good. Uh, don't don't feel afraid to spam it because it's supposed to look natural. And the more random it is, the more natural it is. But don't make it look like it's trying to be normal or random because then it looks obviously uh, like not natural. So you, you want a good bit of randomness, but not enough so it looks just crazy all over the place type thing, you know? Uh, see right here, I got a good little place to put lava. Start planting things ahead of time. That's a good strategy. Oh my gosh, voice crack. Uh, that's a good strategy for um, caves and all type of terrains, actually. Uh, I'm going to start making a little exit thing over here. Uh, there, there we go. Exits right through the wall. Uh, and now you see here you have, uh, ooh, it's not connected, okay, hold on, and there, there we go, yeah, that, that works, um, that's just for, and demonstration purposes too, uh, now you see you have this, it's pretty much like an empty canvas at this point, uh, you don't know what you want until you start doing it type thing, it's how you make the caves, well, it's, that's how I make my caves, and it's worked out pretty well, uh, this area needs some rework before I go into the fine tuning. Uh, so yeah, just like all you have to do is go around, hit a few points that you think are boring or or need some oomph to it, you know, uh, like those. Uh, obviously, that they, they are they they look very very uh, man-made with those little circular things, and you can leave those if you want, but it just looks very unprofessional if you leave them like that. Uh, so yeah, there we go. We have the we have the bare skin of the cave. That is what it's gonna look like. Uh, so now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna change your mode to erode, and uh, you can decrease this quite a bit actually. I'm gonna go 10 by 10 by 10 for the erode brush. And what you want to do is go in and s uh, go into all the little areas that look very bad, like this area right here. And up, uh, ooh. Uh, Zoom out a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Uh, apply some erode brush in there. Just squeeze some in there. See, you see, it's getting a little better. Uh, obviously, the f the pure bare bones uh, MC edit creation is gonna. You're gonna have to go in and edit some little minor block details later. Um, going into your actual Minecraft world, uh, I'm gonna need some eroding here on the ceiling, maybe on the floor here. Uh, yeah, see, it looks a lot more natural once you go through with the erode brush. Uh, which is step two of the cave creation process, is making it look natural. Uh, see right here, that uh, this looks very unnatural. It looks like a big circle, so I'm going to have to uh, go in with the road brush here, make it look a little bit uh, messy. Uh, the, m the more you have it set at, uh, the longer it's going to take. If you have it set at strength two, it's going to take a lot longer if you have it set at strength one. So I recommend if you have an area that looks just terrible, like a pretty much looks like a pure circle. I want to go ahead and start using strength number two and strength three if you have to. Uh, but just know you can't like uh, you do clusters of area as easy like I'm doing here. Uh, I like to do little uh, zigzags uh, or lines uh, to to give it like the the randomness effect. See right here this looks pretty bad by itself. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to get get to here right here. Uh, the erode the erode brush works pretty well in my opinion. Like, look at that. Uh, again, I I stress that you're gonna have to go in in your regular Minecraft world and and edit all the minor blocks. Like, you see this thing right here? It looks weird, it's sticking out, and it's not supposed to. Uh, so you're gonna have to like punch out a few blocks like these ones right here that that the erode brush didn't get because it's only a script, you know. Uh, it you can't be all automatic like I'm doing here. You have to have some grunt work into it, but that's fine. It's it's gonna contribute to the f overall effect of 
the cave that you're trying to build. Uh, this needs a lot of work down here. Just gonna draw a line there. Uh, that's a little better. Now I'm gonna rough sketch it, but you're gonna wanna spend at least 30 minutes uh, on one section for it to look its finest. But I need to rush it in for video times conserving sake. Uh, that looks pretty good. Uh, there's a few minor areas that look like circles, like this one right here. Uh, I'm gonna just... Yeah, there we go, that looks like a little pathway now. Uh, also, like I said before, be, be planning out uh, little ideas for you, like that area I saw before that might look like cool, like a lava lake. Oh, this area right here is terrible. Uh, that's a little better. I got a doorbell. We are back. I'm back. Sorry for that distraction there. Uh, I think this cave is pretty much good by the standard of the video. Uh, obviously, it's not good if you want to release it to the public. Uh, this is just for demonstration purposes. Uh, what you're gonna have to go through the steps and and stuff like that. There's obviously a lot of sections I didn't touch, like this one right here. It's got this awkward little block circle thing going. Uh, so that's step one. You got the basic bare bones stone cave, but you have one problem. It's just boring. <laughs> it's really boring. So you want to add some stuff to it. Uh, I would recommend uh, first go to topsoil. This is really popular. Uh, go to topsoil and press grass. Uh, chance 100%. And I'm gonna screw with some uh, some things here. What is it? Uh, length 10, height go to 3. Yeah, that's good. Uh, if you want, ooh, I think I have another idea for this for a path. Uh, but go ahead and you can do the topsoil thing and like sort of. Oh, I accidentally pressed the schematic. Just go in and ooh, I have to zoom in because this is this is really weird the way I have it set. Uh, you can go in and just like make a grass cave type thing. You see, you see how I had it like set to right here. Now with the grass flooring, the topsoil is gonna do the job correctly for this. Uh, sadly, I can't like do this because that's just gonna be in the air. Uh, but you get the idea of what you should do. Just go through the cave and do that. I can't do it quite well because the screen is weird, so I'm going to go ahead and go to big screen and, and do some progress here, and I'll be with you in a second. Okay, so doing a little bit of work on here, uh, I realize this is, this is looking pretty good already. Uh, I'm obviously going to go into some tweaks like this area right here. Uh, this area I kind of decided is going to be a lava pool, as well as uh, this area down here. and. And yeah, this this is looking pretty good already. It's still pretty bland though, so you can still use the topsoil one, and then you can change the chance to about. Uh, sorry about that. My my record key is zero, uh, thirty, and height five, and then you can change it. See, this is what I've done in one of mine uh, to glowstone to draw out a path, and that way at the same time it'll need to press enter. At the same time, it'll light up the, the actual pathway that is going there. So if you do this type thing, oh, uh, sorry, I have children screaming in the background. Ooh, come on, bear right back. So I did a little bit more work over here, and I just added a few patches of diamond here and there. Uh, looking okay, looking good. Also, I did some glowstone to see how that works. Uh, down here, I might add some lava later. But yeah, I'm going to go back into my single player world and test this out. And I'll. So here I am back in the single player world, and um, all I'm gonna do now is just check inside. Uh, my parents are just getting home, so ignore that. Oh man.